Cinema Reviews Now presents Tarantula 1955. Hello and welcome to our review. If you like this review and would like to see more content like this, please click on the like and subscribe buttons below and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified when new content is released. Check out the description box below for links to content like this and go to our channel, CRN Reviews, all one word, for more. This would really help support our channel. Thank you. This movie is rated approved and has a total running time of 1 hour and 20 minutes. A scientist in Arizona is attempting to solve world hunger by experimenting in giantism. Unfortunately, the experiment has very unsettling and horrific side effects. When an experiment escapes and with it growing in size, it terrorizes the local town folk. Will they be able to stop the monstrosity or will they become its next meal? Find out in Tarantula. Dr. Matt Hastings is played by actor John Agar, known for his roles in Fort Apache, released in 1948, The Mole People, released in 1956, and Big Jake, released in 1971. Stephanie Steve Clayton is played by actress Mara Corday, known for her roles in Sudden Impact, released in 1983, the Giant Claw, released in 1957, The Rookie, released in 1990, and The Gauntlet, released in 1977. Professor Gerald Deemer is played by actor Leo G. Carroll, known for his roles in North by Northwest, released in 1959, Strangers on a Train, released in 1951, and The Man from UNCLE, TV series released in 1964 through 1968. This movie is full of action and drama. This classic sci-fi horror will keep you at the edge of your seat. It takes horror to a new height and will leave you in suspense. We highly recommend this classic film to add to your collection. We give this horrifying sci-fi film 5 stars out of 5. And now, for the much-anticipated bonus material! Twice during the film, Dr. Hastings lands his plane on an unpaved desert runway, yet the sound effect when the plane touches down is the screeching of tires hitting pavement. In one shot of the tarantula crawling over the mountains, the mat is cut incorrectly so that one of the spider legs seems to disappear in mid-air. If you look carefully at the stained glass windows in the funeral parlor, you can see that at least one of them was used in the hallway of the Bates House in Psycho, released in 1960, and its sequels. 